get your energy from the root of your cell, not just some superficial baloney in your brain. All right, I'm talking today about CoQ10. Okay, we hear it all the time, right? People are telling us we should take CoQ10. And for the longest time, I actually thought that it was something that was just good for your heart. But to be completely honest, it goes a lot deeper than that. So I'm gonna explain the three major benefits of CoQ10, but I'm also going to describe what exactly it does in your body when it comes down to creating energy. So what coenzyme Q10 is, it's also known as ubiquinone within the body, is a cofactor or a coenzyme that ends up helping us to metabolize glucose or fatty acids into what is called ATP, adenosine trisphosphate. Now ATP is essentially everything that we need to move or to function or to have any kind of cellular body function at all. So without the use of that CoQ10, that ATP is relatively inefficient, or sometimes completely ineffective. See, the way that it works is it works with something called the electron chain. It also works with what's called proton gradient. Now, what that means is that it helps shuttle glucose into the mitochondria so that it can be functioned and turned into energy. But it does the same with fats. So at the very, very core, it is what assists the mitochondria in producing energy. So why is it so important? I'm gonna give you three basic reasons that it's super, super important, especially as we start to grow older. The first one is it's an extremely powerful antioxidant in every sense of the word. And it works so effectively because it's working just at the core of where oxidative stress will usually start to occur. So what exactly is a free radical? Or what is oxidative stress? You see, when we have any kind of aerobic metabolism at all, meaning the body's breaking down fat into fuel or even glucose into fuel, we have these rogue oxygen species that just kind of go out throughout the body. And what it is, is when an oxygen species splits up into singular atoms, and those atoms have unpaired electron chains, okay? Those unpaired electrons cause an issue where the spare electron sort of circulates through the body, wreaking havoc, causing all kinds of oxidative stress throughout the body. Think of it as just like this little rogue piece of oxygen that's just bouncing around your body, causing all kinds of issues. So the cool thing about coenzyme Q10 is it mitigates that right at the source because it's already epicentered right there, the heart of the mitochondria. So that's why it's such a powerful antioxidant. Not only is it helping energy production, but it's helping the potential negative effects that are a byproduct of energy production. You're getting a double whammy there. Now the next thing that's super awesome about CoQ10 is its effect on blood pressure. Now I'm gonna reference one study in particular because I thought it was extremely interesting. Anything that's gonna take a large scale clinical trial, I'm gonna stand behind. Okay, so this was a clinical trial that took 12 different studies, 352 participants in total. And what they measured was those that took CoQ10 versus those that were just a control, that did not take a CoQ10 supplement. What they found over the course of time was that those that supplemented CoQ10 had such a significant decrease in their blood pressure, both systolic and diastolic, was alarming. The systolic blood pressure on average dropped between 15 and 19 millimeters of mercury, and the diastolic dropped between 8 and 10 millimeters of mercury. Doesn't sound like much, but when you're talking about without the use of a pharmaceutical, that's pretty darn powerful. Okay, now additionally, I want to talk about its correlation with cholesterol. So the number three reason why CoQ10 is so critical. Now I hope you're starting to see the correlation here. CoQ10 and aging, okay? So we have that combination of blood pressure, which is usually an issue as we age. We have that combination of free radicals and oxidative stress, which is again, a bigger issue as we age. And then we also have the issue of cholesterol, which again, becomes increasingly more of an issue as we age. So you're seeing the link here, right? So CoQ10 is extremely important when it comes to mitigating high levels of cholesterol. But what's even more important is if you have high cholesterol and you're on what's called a statin, then your CoQ10 levels are depleted even more. So you've got this vicious circle. It's like low levels of CoQ10 are correlated with higher levels of blood cholesterol. Then statins, which control our blood cholesterol somewhat, deplete our CoQ10 even more. So we kind of have this polarizing effect that may not be helping. In fact, a lot of doctors will actually say when you're taking a statin, you should be supplementing CoQ10. So that's just a big reason right then and there that you should be supplementing it maybe before your cholesterol ever becomes an issue. So now you can see the link, okay? Our CoQ10 levels are depleting as we age and it becomes increasingly more important to add them into the mix as you age. They're gonna be present in just about any aerobic creature on earth. That's ranging from bacteria to an animal to us as humans. We all utilize coenzyme Q10. 
And it's all a part of that electron transport chain, which is literally just a series of electricity that transfers energy so that we can actually have movement and physical energy. As always, keep it locked in here on these videos so that we can cut through the fluff so that you can get the most out of your business, the most out of your life, the most out of the food in your kitchen. I will see you in the next video.